Truth be told, I kind of like using this front-facing camera. It's simple. I'm just gonna whip out my phone. The reason why I'm using it is because my... Hold on one second, no, don't fall. This, the... I, I wasn't filming with the DSLR earlier. I was using the point and shoot. But this makes great, great quality videos for what it is. I mean, it's a $700 point and shoot, so it should, rightly so. But I wanted to talk to y'all today about a quick modification I might be making to the car. I'm not sure if I'm going to. And that involves these seats right here. As you can see, we have the stock sports seats on the Porsche 987S 2008. I had to think about that for a second. Let me put this uh, money away. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm going to show you some pictures of the seats so you can get the full experience. Just knock my glasses off. The camera's over here. <laughs> you can tell I was in the sun with sunglasses recently, eh? 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 I'm gonna put these back on so things aren't awkward. Right on. Anyway, I wanted to make a quick video and let y'all know I do have in mind a seat and harness setup for this car. Why? Because when we do start making modifications, if we do we can do that. Also, the cheeky little seat belts I have here, if I want to color match them to the other accents of the car, which I will be doing yellow, and y'all know how I feel about seat belts. If you are OG subscribers, you'll see in other videos, I got some weird fetish with colored seat belts and stuff. Porsche does do that, but they just didn't do it on this car. So, I'm going to take the initiative and make, well not make, I'm gonna handcraft them, get some seat belts for the car. Now, with that being said, it's about $500 for some regular ass seat belts. Just a one point, you know, over the, the shoulder, I forget what this is called, and then at the waist. Belt, typical. Not the best, and honestly not the most comfortable. Sometimes I'll notice when I'm driving, I'll end up throwing this behind me. Not in the United States, because that would be illegal. But, since we are in the United States, I'm gonna wear it. No, I legally should for right now. <clears throat> harnesses, yellow harnesses, and de-stitching the actual brand name on them. If I get a good six-point harness, and you don't have to click in all six points when you're just driving the car, but it's good for track use and whatnot, and that's what I kind of want to use it for in the future, perhaps, per se. Put it this way. I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. You follow me? I know you do. Thank you very much. Good thing I can't carry a gun in New Jersey. Well, not good thing. Bad thing I can't carry a gun in New Jersey because then I can't, I can't conceal carry just for like that reason. Rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. What if I get attacked by some terrorists while I'm driving? I can't, I can't defend myself. Well, I can because I have knife hands, but that's, that's a different story. Back to the seats. Comment below what you think I should get. I'm looking at a particular set. I'm looking at some Braum micro suede seats, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I love how the red micro suede seats look. They just don't match anything, and I feel like red and flow yellow and whatnot isn't gonna go too well with the car. Plus, everything else is not gonna be red eventually. Spoiler. But, so, what, what do you think? Because it's either red or graphite, and I think it's the safe bet. Going with the graphite color match, well not color match, but graphite seats, the graphite micro suede seats, and I've heard good things about them, good reviews, but there aren't many videos on YouTube. There are some videos with some other ones, and there's always good stuff. They're about 700 bucks, plus the, uh, the rails to fit them into the car would be about another couple hundred, so you're looking at about $1,000, plus the harnesses, like $1,100, $1,200 after shipping and whatnot. That's not bad. Now, if I get the seats and then get the belts, you're looking at maybe fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars, which is why I'm going for the harnesses if I do that. Comment below what you think. I'm not going to make this video too long, but let me know. Let me know what you think. Comment down below. Hit me up on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that fun stuff, and just shoot me a comment. Let me know what you think. What should I do? In your opinion, if this were your car, would you leave it stock? Very simple, simple thing, because these uh, these seats are comfortable. It's just I notice sometimes, especially in my videos, I have good posture for being a 25-year-old male, 
at around five foot nine, five foot ten, six foot eight, and you know, good days. Not really. I'm not. I'm not six foot eight. I'm about five, five nine, five ten. But the seat is comfortable. But sometimes it makes me hunch. Like when I'm driving, it it, it looks like in some videos. I think every now and then it'll look like I kind of like hunching over, like a hunchback. And I think it's because of these seats, the way they make me sit. So. Uh, it's the bolstering. The bolstering is very tight in the back, and I have a I kind of a wide back, so it could be better. Let's put it that way. I've been in seats that have fit me a lot better, but these are comfortable still, nonetheless. I've been on three, four-hour rallies so far in this car, up to cars of coffee in Lehigh Valley, and it's fine. It feels great. I don't get sore or anything. But there could be a better situation. Plus, y'all know how I feel if you watch my videos, and if you don't, you should. Um, how I feel about leather versus suede, or the micro suede. Uh, also, it's fire retardant. It's a lot lighter. These would be manual seats as well. I think they're maybe 20, 25 pounds. I don't know how much these seats weigh, but I'm gonna say between 35, 45 pounds. So I'm gonna be saving 20 pounds there. That's cool. I mean, I could lose 20 pounds and save save weight that way also. So it is what it is. That'd be a little more cost efficient as well because I'd spend less money on food. We're gonna the gym more, but probably probably less money on. Well, actually, realistically, probably more 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 gym than anything because I uh, I like food. Let me know what you think. Keep them stock. Brom. Graphite. Micro suede, get the $500 yellow seat belts that are gonna do the same thing these do. Nah, how about the harnesses though? Get the harnesses with the Braum seats or wild card, what's your choice? You tell me what you think I should get and maybe, just maybe, I won't be stubborn and I'll listen to you. Chances are I will. I love to get feedback from y'all, everyone who watches my videos and everyone who shares the videos. Share this on your Facebook or any Porsche forums or anything. Porsche Club of America, which I'm not a member of yet. But let me know how, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think is the best move. I've been doing some research on forums and stuff, so please don't give me that answer. Decent research on forums, Roger Nizian research. Yeah, thank you. I have, and I am. I'm just curious what, what you guys think, what my viewers think. And that's all I got for you today. So subscribe down there. There's a little button next to it after you subscribe. A uh, little bell that's gonna enable notif post notifications for you, so it'll just keep you more in tune to what I post. Little adva advantageous for you, just so it keeps you up to date on what I post. Because sometimes YouTube doesn't notify viewers of videos. I've been told that a few times, and also other YouTube channels are saying it as well. Otherwise, like the video, just thumbs up should be over, over there. By the way, this is the right way to be recording this since you're on YouTube. Here's what the seats look like. See? Stock. Ooh, they're in good condition. They're very, very clean and smooth. There's really not too much except for your regular wear and tear. It's 30, you know, 30 to 40,000 mile wear and tear, but here's what they look like. They do look good. I'm also thinking about, you know, these inserts pop out. Maybe uh, reupholstering them with some, some Alcantara. That option could be much, much cheaper. Let me know. What you, what you think?